So first thing you need to do is drain the old brown rusty coolant out uh, till it's empty and then we can do a flush. So drain that out into a drain pan and collect all that coolant up. This one's actually very easy, a few steps to take uh, to make it successful. Go ahead and pull the clamp off like I have and twist it and pull it off. Okay, it's thermostat time. There's three bolts to this housing. One, two, and three. I got a couple of them out already. After the three bolts are out, it's going to be stuck on there. Just grab it, manhandle it. Now you see our iron cleaner has done a pretty good job. Done's perfect. Short of full disassembly. But uh, you can see it's done a good job, but there's pockets where it, the uh, sediment has settled. And uh, by pulling this off, we got a little more access to that. Stick a hose in there and flush it out with some power, uh, some pressure. Another great reason to change it. All right, get your surfaces nice and clean. Get that paper gasket off of there. And blow out your screw holes there so there's no material left in them. Get it nice and pretty. Same thing with your uh, thermostat housing adapter here. There is going to be some staining just like so, but that's normal. There's no reason to change it. Get the excess of a uh, bit of corrosion that was on here off with like a wire wheel. And let's put it back in. Okay, a the thermostat is directional and can be put in backwards on accident, so pay attention. This is the back side of the housing. This is how it should look. Also, it's uh, indexed in there. This little leader right here goes to where it's oblong right here. Turn it to the oblong area and it'll sit flush all the way around. Now as far as the gasket, it appears it can go either way. I think this way matches a little bit better. Alright, put it on there, make sure it's still indexed and all the holes line up and then you're going to want to start those screws by hand which is 108 inch pounds so torque those you don't want to over tighten this because you can split that paper gasket alright put your hose and your hose clamp back on and index the clamp to the hose as you can see right there is like an impression not the white stuff but the shiny impression we're gonna follow that just like so it's very important if you're reusing these tension clamps that we uh, put it back in the original locations all right now that everything's back together we can go ahead and put this plug back in and we can start filling her up make sure when you tighten this you tighten it by hand because it's plastic and it can crack snug it like that and that's it just a little bit You'll feel it. Now when you refill it with the gold coolant, fill it more, mix it more at a 60-40 or 70-30 um, mixture. That's 60% coolant or 70% coolant. Um, because you do have that water from flushing in the engine and it's going to mix and uh, dilute it. So 60-40, 70-30, we should be safe. And uh, when they mix up, it'll be closer to that 50-50 where it should be, um, that's specified. So uh, let it run for a while until it gets nice and hot. And uh, make sure you guys the cold fill line when you're done, after you recheck it the next morning or later that day when it's cooled off. In the meantime, just make sure it's still in that range when you're top and we're bleeding it out here. And. Uh, Check all your connections again, every hose connection you've touched, heater core ones, the upper uh, radiator hose here, and it's thermostat housing, you just change it out. You should be able to feel a nice hot uh, hose here now. Once you're satisfied and you got it all bled out, put the cap back on, your new cap. Nice and Tight till it clicks, and you're done.